Hi, this is Life on Earth with Larissa. I'm Larissa. Thank you for joining me. Today, we're going to be talking about forgiveness. This is a three-part series, and today is the third part. So this is a third part of the three-part series. For time reasons, we're moving on. <laughs> okay. So, um, okay, so the answer is no. Nobody has to, the answer is no. Nobody has to apologize to you before you forgive them. Our job is to get the gook and the gunk out of our hearts, um, forgive people. So our job is to process our feelings um, and, and give that to God and uh, forgive them. You know, because the loving thing to do, the loving thing to do is to forgive them. Because um, as Christians, we should be loving. Love is patient. Love is kind. It's not envious or boastful. It hopes all things, believe all things, endures all things. Love never fails. And the loving thing to do, um, if you're a Christian, if you're a true believer, then um, uh, I think all, all those 10 commandments or something were summed up in two. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, uh, with all your soul, and love your neighbor as yourself. So, and, and these two sum up the entire law love God and love others. And if we're loving towards others, then we're definitely going to be forgiving towards them because when you're, um, because when you're not forgiving, then, um, you have other, uh, other, uh, other manifestations of things, uh, taking place like anger and anger is not listed in what love is and resentment, um, is not listed in what love is. And, um, and, um, envy is not listed in those characteristics on, on what love is. So if, if we're acting in those, uh, characteristics, if those characteristics are in our heart and in our actions and in our attitude, then we're not being loving and we're definitely not being forgiving and we haven't forgiven, uh, uh, people or someone if something happens and uh, certain feelings rise up when a, someone's name is spoken or a situation is uh, mentioned um, then I'm not sure we can fully say that we've forgiven someone okay and sometimes it looks like we have and we think we've had until we have a situation where we're encountered uh, maybe face to face, um, or, uh, a situation where we thought we have, uh, overcome that situation and forgiven them. And, um, and it, it turns out that we have not. So, um, if you're not sure if you've forgiven someone, then ask the Lord to reveal that thing to you. Say, Lord, have I truly forgiven them? And, um, he, he'll show you what forgiveness looks like. And one of the things I want to mention is, um, uh, forgiveness doesn't mean reconciliation. Okay. So you can forgive people, but that doesn't mean, uh, you're going to be reconciled to that person. So, um, and reconciliation is returning to, um, whatever, returning to the, whatever faith or whatever harmony you had before the situation happened. Okay. So, um, sometimes that does not happen and, and forgiveness, and reconciliation, those are two different things and they have two different definitions. Okay. So, um, just want to put that out there. So, um, um, after you've forgiven people, it's not always, uh, it, especially if it was someone close to you, it doesn't mean that you're going to be close again. That's just, that's just not, that's not the way it works. That's just, that's just not, that's not the way it works. Okay. So moving on. So the Bible says, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Okay. So let he who is without sin cast the first stone. So if you've never done anything, you know, then you need to cast the first stone. But the Bible has already said that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. So um, sometimes we want to, uh, throw stones at people and, and, um, and, uh, send them up the river quick, you know, but when we do things, we want forgiveness and we want pardon and we want second and third chances. Okay. 
but that's that's uh, in in the kingdom of God. Uh, the Bible says he is without sin. He who hasn't done nothing at all uh, can be the first one to condemn someone else. So we 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 act like we don't want to forgive people for stuff that they done done. Um, but we ourselves have done some stuff, too. And just because we haven't done some of the same stuff they've done uh, doesn't make us any better. Because uh, remember, in, in another video, and you'll see, uh, you, you, if you go uh, and find it, you, I'll, I'll try to post that video up. But, um, you know, sin is sin is sin. There are no big sins or little sins. Sin is sin, you know. And so we've all done something that we need. Um, we need forgiveness for. Okay, so moving on. So the Bible says in Ephesians chapter four, verse 32, it says, be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. Be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, just as God in Christ forgave you. God forgave us and he forgives us every day. You know, we sin in thought and word and deed, and we need forgiveness every day. We need pardon every day. We need mercy every day because we are not perfect and we need, we need his, we need his pardon. We need his forgiveness. Okay. So, um, so the Bible says, forgive one another, um, be tenderhearted, be kind, you know, so, um, those are also indicative of, um, or those are all, those are also ways that, uh, we also show love. All right. So moving on, um, uh, love covers a multitude of sins. So first Peter chapter four, verse eight says, love covers a multitude of sins. Well, what is a sin? Okay. So, uh, we know that sin is, uh, is falling short is missing the mark. Um, it's, um, it's, it's sin is, uh, uh, is multi multiple ways that you can define what sin is, but, um, love, the Bible says love covers a multitude of sins or things that people have done wrong toward us or towards others, but love being loving that covers those things. Okay. We have to forgive and we have to, uh, we need to love. Okay. So, in the book of Colossians chapter three, verse 13, bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. Bear with each other and forgive one another. Bear with each other and forgive one another. Okay. Um, if any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive. Okay. Forgive as the Lord forgave us. Okay, and so uh, my final Bible scripture here is Luke chapter 17. So watch yourselves. If your brother or sister sins against you, rebuke them. And if they repent, forgive them. Even if they sin against you seven times in a day and seven times come back to you saying, I repent, the Bible says you must forgive them. Okay. Um, so these are Bible scriptures. The reason why I'm bringing up Bible scriptures, because we are believers of, of, uh, of the Bible. We believe that God gives us, um, direction in his Bible to help us live our, our best life here on earth. Those are, uh, they say the Bible is basic. It stands for basic instructions before leaving earth. Um, so uh, the Bible helps us to live a better life down here, a better life uh, uh, with uh, where we're developing our relationship with God, but it also helps in our relationships with others. And so, um, all right. <laughs> so 70 times seven is, is basically saying there's no limit. There's, you keep on forgiving that person. If they keep on doing the same stuff, you forgive them. Now, somebody, every time you let so-and-so in your house or 
if, if someone keeps doing the same things, you don't have to keep putting yourself in situations uh, for situations to happen, okay? Whether it's going out with girlfriends and something is said or, you know, when you're around certain people, things disappear. Um, you don't, we don't have to keep putting ourselves in the same situations to get knocked down or to get angry and upset again. Oh, they did it to me again. Now, our job is to forgive, but we also have to use wisdom. And the Lord gives us wisdom to say, wait a minute, I've seen this pattern before. I know where this is going. And because of that, I'm going to change what I do so I don't get angry, so I don't get upset. So you won't take me there. Oh, you've heard people say, oh, don't take me there. Oh, don't take me there. Don't take it. Don't take me there. Okay. So you've heard people say that. Well, you don't want to take people there, you know. And, um, and if you already know that you yourself would go there, um, when people do certain things, don't put yourself in that situation. Why? Cause then you're going to get angry. You might say something or do something. And then you got to forgive them because you let them, uh, make you angry or take you there. And then you got to forgive yourself for whatever your reaction was. So to save yourself a whole lot of issues, um, Make sure you forgive because you, our job is to keep our hearts clean because I'm sure we, a uh, whole lot of us like to pray. Um, some people pray on a regular basis and some people just pray when they need stuff. Um, it'd be good if you prayed on a regular basis, but um, either way, um, uh, if, if you offer up prayers, the reason why I mention in prayer, because if you're not a person that forgives how, how you think God is going to forgive you and then you can come up to him, he's going to be like, uh, I ain't forgiving you yet. You know? So that's why it's important for us to forgive people. Um, because, um, if we don't forgive people and we offer up prayers to God, then he said, you haven't forgiven them. So I can't even hear what you're talking about right now. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. So how often should we forgive our brother? Unlimited times. There is no limit. Um, if you want to stick with what Jesus says, 70 times seven, go ahead. But who's going to keep track of that? Okay. All right. So we went over what uh, forgiveness, what does forgiveness mean? Um, what does, yeah. And what does it mean to forgive others? Um, how to forgive and um who needs forgiveness so all of us all of us needs forgiveness okay so what's the require the requirement on forgiveness um so what's required before we forgive someone what's required do they first have to apologize no no we don't have to say well i i definitely forgive them if they apologize you know, if they have, a, some people may never apologize to you. I'm going ahead and tell you. So if ain't nobody else told you, I'm going ahead and tell you. You may never, ever receive an apology for anything. Even though them people know they was out of order, they was wrong. They know they was out of order. They know they cooked some stuff up. But you might not ever receive an apology, ever. So what if you don't? Are you exempt from forgiving people like, well, they ain't asked for forgiveness. They ain't apologize. So they ain't getting forgiveness. You're not exempt, especially if you're a believer in the Lord uh, and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ is not biblical. It's not of God. Um, so we do need to uh, forgive people even uh, before they ask. You know, we need to process our feelings. God, I'm angry. God, that hurts. God, I want to do this. You know, I, it should be nice if, if the tables were turned and we might even wish evil and all that other good stuff. But and that we have to uh, get that gook out of our heart and say, God, I don't like feeling like this because it's not loving. There's probably a whole lot more that I need to cover, but um, thank you for joining me. Um, I'll see you next time. This 